One of the claims that Husqvarna make is that by repeatedly cutting the lawn, just taking a little bit off each time and mulching the clippings in, you end up with a healthier lawn. Now when this was installed, the boundary wire was run just down around here because we're going to do some paving in this area. And what that's resulted in is we can do a direct comparison between the part of the grass that's maintained by the automower and the part that has been maintained manually by me. This is about three weeks of growth, which is probably pretty normal. I would often get out and mow like every second weekend or every third weekend. So in the past, the entire lawn would have looked exactly like this. Now, of course, it looks like this all the time. So I'm gonna get out the mower. We'll mow this the way I would normally do it. And then we can compare the grass and see how it's doing. Now, normally I don't bother using the catcher on this mower. It's a mulching mower. So I use it to uh, chop up the clippings and drop them back into the, the lawn pretty much the same way that the auto mower does But I want to keep the lawn clear this time not have the clippings there so that we can compare it to the other part of the grass So now we have the freshly cut grass on the left and the grass maintained by the auto mower on the right. Obviously the colour is a little bit different because this is damper underneath. I've only just cut it and um, after a few hours the colours will probably match up a bit better. But for now it means you can see a nice line where the difference is. Looking at the area maintained manually, you can see that the grass seems to be a little bit thinner and the, um, the ground is exposed. You can see the dirt down here fairly easily just by pushing the grass aside. And um, it seems to be kind of stringy. Whereas if we move across to the right, so this is the area maintained by the auto mower, it's actually almost impossible to find the dirt because it's constantly having the tiny little clippings pushed down into it. It forms a sort of carpet around the, um, the base of the grass and the result is that it seems to retain moisture pretty well. Okay, just in this area I'll try to get down and get to the dirt. You can see there there's more grass, there's clippings. You've actually got to dig down through like a carpet of grass clippings before you get to the dirt itself. So generally the grass just seems healthier. So here I'm looking at a different part of the lawn. This is a bit further up the yard. And you can see that this is quite spongy. And we haven't had grass like this before. In the past, once it's been mowed, it ends up being quite clumpy and with the, um, the dirt exposed and it dries out quickly. So this, I mean, you could lie on this and have a picnic and it'll be quite nice and much better than the, um, the quality of the grass we had before. Now just to demonstrate how dense this has made the um, the under part of the grass this is the edge just along here so I know that the guide wire runs straight along here it should be approximately here but let's see how hard it is to find it so if we get down past the first layer of grass you can see that there is um, there are these little clippings that are all mixed in underneath it and then you've got to sort of dig through that. We haven't really got to the dirt yet. It's down there somewhere. But finding this guide wire could be quite difficult. I still can't see it. It should be running directly through this area. It should be coming straight through here somewhere. I've measured off from the edge of the lawn so I know where it was installed. I'm starting to do some damage to the grass now. I'm really digging into it trying to find where that guide wire is. If I dig down quite hard there's, oh there's the dirt, I've got to that. But you can see that there are all of these layers from the dirt itself coming up there is this thick carpet of grass clippings um, and then the grass above it. So I'm going to give up. I'm not going to find that boundary wire there. It should be just in there somewhere. Uh, but the, um, the grass itself 
is very healthy indeed. It's now a Sunday afternoon, which is two days after I filmed the first part of this video, and you can see quite distinctly the difference in the areas of the grass. The bottom section there is the part that I mowed just recently on Friday afternoon, and the top part is the bit that's maintained by the auto mower. You can see very distinctly that the grass maintained by the auto mower is healthier, it's a darker green, it's thicker. The area that is maintained by mowing it occasionally manually looks very patchy in comparison. So it's very obvious that the quality of the grass is better where it's maintained by the auto mower. So I'm very impressed by how healthy the grass is and how well the auto mower is maintaining it. The result just looks great all the time, even in fairly hot weather that we've had recently. So that's a, a really big thumbs up for the auto mower. 